Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Andrew Laidley. At a time when most businesses are investing cautiously, Fosrich is ramping up its growth and expansion activities. The company detailed its, out, its ongoing initiative in its 2020 third quarter financial report. Fosrich has set up a new company called Blue Emerald Limited. The lighting and electrical firm is seeking to have this company registered under the Special Economic Zone Authority in order to take advantage of the significant long-term tax concessions that are available. The company says activities being undertaken at its new Hayes facility in Clarendon will be done through the new entity. Blue Emerald will act exclusively for Fosridge under a contract manufacturing arrangement. In the same vein, Fosrich says its expansion into transformer repair and manufacturing is nearing completion. The company says it has started the process of sourcing the necessary equipment. Fosrich disclosed that the project should be up and running by the end of December. Meanwhile, construction of its new distribution center at 76 Malines Road has started and should be completed and ready for occupation by February next year. At the same time, Fosrich continues to deliver returns for shareholders despite the impact of COVID-19 on its business. Fosrich's earnings per stock increased to $0.09 cents during the July to September 2020 quarter compared with the same period last year. Net profit increased 41.3% compared with the prior year. Fosrich says the performance represents the best quarter in its history. A new board of the Sugar Industry Authority, SIA, is expected to be appointed this month. Agriculture Minister Floyd Green says the first order of business for the new board will be to lead a review of the SIA. Now, the SIA is vested with the powers to regulate and control the sugar industry. Mr. Green says the new phase of the sugar industry will be the utilization of more science and technology. To currency trading now, it ended today with the US dollar selling for $148.75. The Canadian sold for $114.30. The pound closed at $194.28, while the euro is going for $178.69. The JSE index gained 6,954 points today, while the junior market index lost 8 points. Among the winners were Sagicor Group, Jetcon Corporation, Siboney Group, Iron Rock Insurance, and AMG Packaging and Paper. Now on the losing side were Sterling Investments US Dollar Shares, T-Tech, Jamaica Broilers, 138 Student Living, and Elite Diagnostic. And that's the Business Day. I'm Andrew Laidley. Good evening.